Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my guide for pures on the mini game Troll Invasion. So this is what your inventory wants to look like. You want some bolas for freezing the dynamite trolls, uh, ranging pots, prayer renewals, a couple of prayer pots, a games necklace to get there, uh, spec weapon, dragon claws or DDS, something like that, and uh, rock tails. Uh, for your, you know, what you're gonna wear. Um, you're gonna want uh, to get some range bonus, and I uh, choose Addy gloves or a regen. Uh, I'll put on the screen the uh, order of things that I think you should choose. So this is for the range variant of it. You can do it with magic and ancient magics. It makes it a lot easier if you're having trouble with it, but you, it's really not that hard. Um, you can do it with range like I'm doing it and you'll see I don't have that many difficulty with it even though I don't do it 100% to uh, the way I'm telling you guys to do it. So um, for the arrows, I just chose mithril fire arrows, the same as mithril arrows, but um, you know, they're cheaper. Um, so you don't really need the Robin Hood boots and the archer's ring or anything like that. They're just extra, you know, if you have the money for it, you can buy them. So to get there, you're going to use a games necklace and go to Berthope Troll Invasion. So even though I didn't really need it, I decided just to go to the little bank chest, you know, it's not that far away, deposit the games necklace, which will be useless to me, and I take out another rock tail. If you can't afford rock tail or, you know, you've done it before and you don't really think you need it, you can use shark. I wouldn't recommend recommend using monkfish uh, unless you're used to it already or you're a very high level pure. So, you know, you've got near 99s and things like that. So you're going to want to go start fighting. Uh, if you haven't done it before, you're going to have to click through and just say you want to fight. But because I've done it before, I can just go straight to that. So you'll just go through a little screen and it'll say, easy or hard. If you haven't done it before, it won't give you the hard option, but this is an easy guide anyway, so it doesn't matter. So when you start off in wave one, I will put at the top the um, the things you can actually find in the wave. I'll, I'll say it anyway. But uh, in wave one, you only have to fight a single mountain troll. So that's really easy. Just put on protect melee and just range him. So this thing here is your supply table. Uh, if the trolls get close and you can lure them there to the supply table and that wall and the castle and everything like that, they uh, will get hit for a lot of damage and uh, it can be a good tactic in the later rounds. And now you're only getting like one or two trolls at a time, it's easy. Another thing as you can see is that I'm using my spec. The reason is you can use the table, I think it's like four or five times, maybe six, something like that, per uh, round. So if you use a supply table and a round to get your spec bar back, to get your health back, to get your prayer back, it's not really wasted in these low rounds. So you can just use your spec continuously and just uh, hit them for a lot of damage. But uh, in this, I'm trying to do it a different way. Uh, as you can see now in wave three, there's a one troll ranger and one mountain troll. So it's not very difficult. You should go for the rangers first because even though the normal attack isn't that devastating, they do throw this big rock, which you can avoid. But I'd recommend praying merely, uh, walking to the uh, castle. That way the uh, troll gets hit by the rocks falling down and just going for the uh, going for the troll ranger. Um, sorry, I would be praying range. Or you could pray, you could pray merely and then just avoid the big rock. But I'd, I'd probably go for just, just praying, praying merely. And just avoiding the big rock. Uh, now that I think about it, uh, sorry, just getting a bit distracted, trying to watch my clip, trying to make sure there's nothing important. Uh, so here, I, I realised that the troll ranger was more important, but I already weakened the uh, little troll. But uh, in terms of order, remember, go for the troll ranger first, then the the normal little melee troll, and just plow in a few last arrows into the troll ranger. Oh, oh, he's already dead. Okay, so now we're up to wave five. Uh, not really difficult. Make sure you check your range. Make sure you pot it up. Okay, so these things are the poorly cooked. I don't even know what that is. Something they're just they've got like AIDS or something like that. And uh, what I'm trying to do here is just safe spot them because while you're near them, you actually be uh, they actually lower your stats. You actually start coughing. So. Don't ignore how I just safe spotted it there. Later in the video, you'll see how to properly safe spot it. There, I just did a little fail because I didn't walk close enough to the rock. But uh, if you do fail to do it, just 
try and freeze them with the bolas and hit them because if they get close, they're going to lower your stats. You, you can just go to the supply table and stand next to them. But yeah, little options for you. Um, so here I'm just using some of my spec bar. Don't need dragon claws. If you've got dragon claws, use them. But a DDS works just fine. Um, so this is me just using the spec bar because, well, I have it. And I'm just trying to utilize the uh, supply table. I uh, don't want to waste it in the rounds. Uh, so this is how to properly safe spot these things. So you leave them to last because they're not aggressive. They actually won't attack you unless you attack them back. Sorry, you attack them in the first place. So it always leave them to last. They can be really annoying if you accidentally attack them. Uh, so here you can see I'm just checking my uh, range level just to make sure that I'm not uh, not down too low from the little guy with AIDS. Um, Go back to your supply table. So these rounds are really, they're not difficult at all. Really not. Um, I think, in my opinion, it doesn't start to get a little tad difficult till round 18. And you just got to watch out for the dynamite trolls. So this is wave 7, you got a, a ranger, you got a mountain troll, and you got one of the cooked, whatever they are. So here I get hit by the big boulder, and you can see it hit 300 on me. So you really got to avoid them, but it's not to worry because I got my supply table. So, when I was doing this, I just lost my order. I don't know why. So, if you're playing range, that thing will do nothing to you. See? Uh, so, definitely, yeah, go for the ranger first, then the mountain troll, and then the poorly cooked whatever. I really got to get that name. Okay. So, this time I just freeze him because he's over there and I can't be bothered to safe spotting him. I'm pretty sure he's in a, I'm in a safe spot anyway, sorry. Uh, weaken him up a little bit. Don't know why the guys didn't do the volley of arrows at him. So this is round eight, and I knew it was just a troll general. So you just got to pray melee. If there's a troll general, definitely pray melee. They can hit vast amounts of damage on you. I think they can hit up to four hundreds, and it's not very nice being a one death pure. It's not like it's going to be very hard for him to hit his max hit on you. Um, and then I just try and use the supply table before the round ends again. So you can use it a lot of times per round. Try and use it before the wave ends. Sorry, sometimes I'm calling it round, I mean wave. Uh, here you have wave 9, so it's a general, a ranger, and a troll. So because there's two melias and one ranger, just pray melee, walk to your spot so they, as you can see, throw volleys or arrows. And you see that big rock came, so I tried to avoid it, but he was dead, so it didn't matter. So then when there's when you got the same combat style left, it's really easy just to take him out because all you got to do is just pray melee and just stand there. It's not it's not difficult. So 43 prayer for a pure, really recommended. Otherwise, you're going to find this a lot harder. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's going to be a lot harder if you don't have 43 prayer. Uh, for those of you who haven't figured out or care, this is an AGS pure, but it's not finished. It's just... It's only got like 83, 84 strength. So I can't see what wave this is. But uh, that's a troll general. So that's good that I'm praying melee. So this is wave 10. So it's a general and a ranger. Uh, I'm just going for the ranger because I'm praying melee. So the general can't hit me. And then just utilize my supply table. You don't get a dynamite troll till wave 14. And they are dangerous. You really want to be careful with those dynamite trolls so the supply table for those of you who haven't done this mini game before just basically it's god it heals your hp heals your prayer points i'm not sure if it heals your prayer points all the way it's just fantastic so these are wizards these wizards i always forget to take out straight away but you really need to because they've got this really annoying telegrab thing where they pull you towards them pull you away from the supply table and everything oh god it's annoying so you really want to take out wizards preferably right after you've taken out the dynamite troll. So I think the order I would use is dynamite then wizard, but I don't really do that in this because I'm stupid. Uh, so as you can see here, I realized that there was a stupid wizard. So I tried to kill the wizard first. So wave 12, you get a wizard, a uh, normal mountain troll, and one of those cook guys with AIDS. Uh, so yeah, as you can see there, he just used the telegram thing on me and stunned me. Fantastic. 
And walking back to the supply table, gotta to utilize that supply table. Don't wanna waste it. Higher rounds. Waves. So here I know I've got heaps left, so I'm just gonna spec them out. And here this was stupid, I thought I could KO in one one shot, but I got the most terrible spec ever. 90 as a first hit, so that's 180 spec. Terrible. Terrible. So then I did the bolas thing, which again wasn't really necessary, he was low HP. Just hit my mic, sorry about that. Uh, so go to the supply table, wave 13, you got a wizard, a ranger, a normal troll, and a cooked. So you're going to want to go for the uh, wizard first. So here, I decided to go up to this wall, which is a really great tactic for you who are lower level pures. Um, as you can see, the things will throw range volleys at them, which is great. It makes it much easier. So I was praying range, so I didn't have to avoid that. Oh, see? So they grabbed me. Annoying. Stunned me. Uh. So because I'm praying range, I go for him first. Just go for the other combat style that you're not praying for. And there we go. Spec him out. And now we're up to 14. So 14 has the dynamite troll, which is deadly. So I take out the bolas straight away. The reason it's deadly and you got to take out the bolas is because uh, it will blow up the supply table and it will not come back. The supply table will be gone the whole match. So the first thing you want to do is, is just going to freeze him. You can just hit him, which works, but uh, f I find it easier to freeze him. If you're using binding spells, it's, it is easier because it does damage and freeze them. But as I said, this is in range and I've got a pretty negative mage attack. So it actually isn't wave 14 yet, purely because this stupid little infected thing is still alive. And if it's still alive, it won't go to the next wave. So if you're thinking, oh, what the hell hasn't gone to the next wave yet? Why is no one coming? You've probably got one of these little things hiding away somewhere. So there, I just safe spot him properly. So now it's wave 14. Now I take out the bolas. So there's a dynamite troll running for my thing. Freeze him. Hit him once. He's gone. He's going to blow up. And boom, gone. So there's a troll father in this. And they, he, he spawns troll runts. So to take him out, all you're going to want to do is, if you've got troll runs, straight away you should protect melee because there are a lot of them. Right now only one's attacking me, but you can get like three on you. So take out the father first because he will actually heal the little runs uh, when they're like half HP. So you actually can't kill them. Well, it's very hard to kill them uh, while the father's alive. So just kill the father first, then kill the little ones. So now I'm just using the supply table. And as you can see, they're throwing arrows at the little runs. There we go. Smack him up. Okay, wave 15. You've got a troll father, a troll general, a normal troll, and a cooked Caribbean, whatever it are. So here I just try and spec out the father. Good idea. Look, you didn't even get to spawn the runts in, which is really good. Uh, try and do that first if you can. So now I've just got two ones using melee, so it's really easy for me to... Uh, Finish this one, because all I have to do is pray melee and take him out. And there you go. And of course, the wave isn't finished because, surprise, surprise, the, one of those infected things are here. So as you can see here, uh, I think I walk back. If you go too far, then you get hit by unblockable damage from rocks from trolls which apparently uh throwing rocks at you and i don't know the offense is too high something like that it says something like that so don't walk there it can be really annoying if you're using melee and the thing walks over there because you have to go smack it and run back so range it's it's pretty easy just hit it and run run back to where you're safe so this one you got a wizard troll father ranger a troll and a cooked so here it can get pretty pretty intense so i go for the troll farther straight away. I really should have finished him off. Um, but I should have gone for the wizard straight away. That's why I swapped. Uh, he actually saved me from that throwing rock. And take out the wizard first because he's annoying. He 
telly grabs you and then I just run for the supply table and I'm safe I don't have to get hit by them so then take out spec weapon and take out all those who aren't using whatever you're protecting and you should be protecting well you definitely should be protecting melee now so protect melee and take out the rangers take out troll dad as you can see that infected things walking around ignore it don't kill it to the end otherwise it'll lower your stats and it'll be annoying so then you should walk here um, when there's no range of trolls that throw rocks at you that way they as you can see that guy shouts out volley and arrows go everywhere and they smack them all up and it makes it a lot easier so you just take out the runs first leave the infected one for last drink at the supply table because look it says the table has two uses left this wave see and then the next wave it'll be full so there's no point so here I think yeah I couldn't safe spot it so I just ballast it oh, and a bit of lag there we are and just try and finish it off so wave 17 the next one has a dynamite troll and a summoner summoners yeah they do little magic attacks and they're really weak but they're they're quite accurate but seriously not not too much of a threat as long as you're praying merely it doesn't matter how many of the summoning things they put so the dynamite troll take him out straight away so here i don't even use the boss i just hit him and i'm scared because i think he's going to make it but you see it's a few seconds so if he's close it's just safer using the boss i just like using the boss so i pray magic because i knew the summoners there he summons his little guy Yeah, spec him out, and probably use your supply table wave 17, because wave 18, in my opinion, actually, well, it's it does get slightly difficult, so make sure you utilize your supply table. Um, he straight away, go for the dynamite troll, there you go, bolas, ignore everything else, just go straight for that dynamite troll. All right, um, next thing you want to do is pray melee and there you go telegrab should have taken out the mage so you're really really going to want to take out the mage first okay so don't once you've taken out the dynamite troll go straight for the mage I don't think I do it in this because uh, he's too far away he's off my screen at the moment so I just go for the ranger but seriously go for the, the wizard and avoid those big rocks because you can get hit by the big rock get hit a bit for the wizard telegrab done you finished there you go you did it again so just drink your supply table take out your spec weapon and just spec out the wizard not the summoner like I nearly clicked take out that wizard terrible spec go back to the table didn't want to waste another spec on him. Now here I start attacking the summoner and I really shouldn't. Okay? You really need to attack that troll father. Because look look at these arrows being wasted on these troll runs. It's disgusting. So just oh, take out the troll troll father. There you go. Look at that stupid guy with AIDS walking around. Just ignore him. As tempting it as it is to put him out of his misery, just ignore him. Take out the troll father. All right, making sure to always pray melee because those little ones are going to take you out good. So I do do it a few times in this video. I do check my stats to make sure my range is sufficiently potted. So make sure you do that. Make sure your prayer restore doesn't run out either. So here I really shouldn't attack that, but it was lucky it was low HP. Come over here to make it easier. Just pray melee. And I don't know why they didn't start volleying. I think they do it a certain amount of times or have to wait I don't know okay so here you've only got two left and seriously wave 20 not hard in the slightest not hard I got a really low level cliff he uses all three combat styles um, but he's really easy you just pray and stand in front of him all right I'm getting ahead of myself anyway okay round 19 actually hard dynamite troll wizard father ranger normal troll and cooked take out the dynamite straight away then go for the wizard Ignore my stupid idea. 
go for the wizard. Primarily because there's lots of them. And look, he pulls me towards him so I can kill him. Fantastic. Take out your spec. Spec weapon. Finish him off. Yeah, fun. Go for the supply table again. Just It's much faster just using your spec weapon and getting him. Dragon Claws makes it a lot, well, a bit easier. DDS, same thing. Yeah, there you go. Drink a supply table again. Now here, I think I'm on Dragon Claws. I think I used it. And I'm wondering why I have 45% left. And it's because I'm not on Dragon Claws. I'm on Magic Shortbow and I'm using that spec. Grr. Just keep praying melee and getting those dynamite trolls. Dynamite trolls, troll fathers. Okay, so you want to just take out the runts. So from here, if you're up to here, it's easy sailing. See, I used my whole supply table that, that game. Bolly. Okay, so. He's not in a safe spot or position. Just bolas him. Take him out. Okay, he's dead. So, now you're onto wave 20. Really easy. It's just clear if he uses all three combat styles, but if you stand next to him, who only use melee. This one's only level 63. Uh, I got a high level one the last time. It's not hard at all. Uh, just pray melee, stand next to him, and just finish him off. As you can see, he's not hard at all. Bye bye. I tried to say good fight, but it wouldn't let me talk. Oh, right. Okay, so you're done. So as you can see, it's it's really easy troll invasion. Just attack whatever you're not praying. So if you're praying melee, attack the rangers and the mages. If you're praying mage, attack the other ones. Most of the time, you should be praying melee because they're they're where the majority of them are. Um majority of them are using to jump for joy happy and I uh, should act the uh, dynamite ones first then the mages uh, then the troll fathers and the rangers and take the melee ones last so he gives me our rewar my reward just press collect rewards it's a little book it's really good so as you can see I'm level 84 so obviously the higher level the more experience you get so level 84 strength um, just going to show you, and I get, I think it's around 50k experience, 50, around 56k experience, 55,904 experience, that is, that is really good, that is good for 20 minutes work, around 20 minutes work, you get over 50,000 experience, so if you figure that as experience per hour, that's like over 150k experience per hour, you obviously can't keep doing it, but that's what I mean, like no pure method I'm doing, even with the Solve Amulet A, you can get that much experience. So that's me celebrating, and I think that that guy in the fighter torso is just getting completely freaked out. So I click on him, his name. Yeah, guys, that's the uh, video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give us a like, comment on any constructive criticism. It is my first video, so I'm still learning. And uh, yeah, hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.